Here's a look at what's happening today. Ten people escaped injury after a small plane slid off the runway at the Oroville Airport, crashed and burst into flames. The plane was scheduled to take off for Portland around noon on Wednesday, but had to abort. The crash ignited a grass fire near the airport as well, but firefighters were able to get this contained quickly. Yeah. Investigators have identified a victim in an arson and homicide last week in Tuolumne County. The body of 39-year-old Donisa Valencia was found in a burnout home in Columbia, back on August 13th. An autopsy revealed that she died before the fire from multiple sharp force and chop force injuries. Two 16 year old boys have been arrested on charges of murder, attempted murder and arson. Investigators think the teens ambushed Valencia the night before the fire. And a big traffic mess in West Sacramento after a power line snapped and came down in the street. Thousands lost power and it took hours to get the power back on again for people living in West Sacramento. Now to check your weather, here's meteorologist Monica Woods. Oh, I don't know if we want this check of weather. We're up 5 to 10 degrees from yesterday. This is the trend we're going to be following. Most of us were feeling it for today. Big key component here, and we've been talking about this, without the access to that delta breeze and those cooling winds, we're going to see those temperatures climb. Current those winds only pulling it about 5 to 15 miles per hour. A little bit of cloud cover coming in again for tomorrow might have that same slightly humid feel like we did for today. And then this is the weather pattern that sets up. And when we see this set up across the West, it typically means a stretch of heat. And that's exactly what's going to happen. High pressure ridge over the Pacific, high pressure ridge over the Rockies. All of that can heat the surface level very quickly. And you can see it reflected in the numbers straight through the 10 day planner. We've got highs in the upper 90s to near 100. That's going to take us through the next 10 days. Now you're all caught up in what's happening today.